Hi everyone, it's Rita from Miss Rita to the Rescue. I wanted to sort of expound on yesterday's late um, tutorial or late night discussion about vinyl and smart vinyl in the Cricut Joy. Um, and try to get it into view here. There's my Cricut Joy. If you don't know what a Joy is, it's a brand new product from Cricut. Um, that is very portable, weighs three and a half pounds. It's about eight by five size. Um, that is a very powerful machine that um, can cut paper and vinyl and, um, and iron on, infusible ink and so forth. Uh, it does not score, it doesn't have any of the fancy tools, but it does probably most of what we all cut on a regular basis. Okay, um, and <clears throat> so when this first came out, there were some people with, you know, not as much information. They just had, you know, the preview information of, um, you know, what it could do. And so there were a lot of questions about, oh, well, you can only use the materials that they designed for the machine. And they did indeed design special materials for the machine. They're called smart materials. So this is smart label. It's writable vinyl. This is smart vinyl, permanent vinyl in lengths of 10 feet. They come in lengths of 20 feet and they also come in samplers and, and what have you. This is smart vinyl in a sampler pack that's five different um, colors. And these, the, the benefit of of using these in the joy is that you don't need a mat um, to cut them. So for people who want to cut very, very long lengths using um, regular vinyl, this is, this is the solution. Now, otherwise, if you did if you didn't have the the um, joy and you are doing, you're kind of somebody who does regularly does like things like decals on your car um, that, you know, like the ones that are kind of long and they go across the back of, of like an SVV, SUV um, or you want to do big posters with big, you know, um, titles or, you know, uh, whatever like big, big things, um, you would have had to like basically chop up the, the, um, the eat individual words and then, you know, glue them all together and make sure that they were all straight and everything. And it was a bit of a pain. So, um, they developed, uh, this product for people who wanted, first of all, portability, but also people who wanted to be able to cut very, very long. So, Anyway, um, that all being said, of course, people who have already been introduced to the Cricut and they have other machines like the Explorer and um, like the Meeker um, and all the different Explorer, the Air 1, Air 2, um, the regular, the original Explorer, um, the Explorer 1, I already said that. Uh, okay, so they all were like, well, wait a second, we already bought all this vinyl um, and you're telling us that if we get this new machine that we can't use our vinyl in it. And that was an incorrect assumption. Um, and I wanted to show you a real world example of, um, of this. Okay. Um, a lot of you probably know this about me. <laughs> Maybe you don't, but I am, um, I am a Corgi lover from way back. I've, I've, uh, been, Oh, sharing my life with corgis for more than 20 years. Um, and uh, I've had, let's see, eight different uh, corgis and I've adopted um, almost all of them. Some of them, uh, one of them, Teddy Bear, the one we have now, he is uh, somebody I got from a breeder, but the other ones were um, cast offs, you know, like a people could it for whatever reason they needed to be adopted they need to be rescued and so i rescued them and that's in large part how i got the name miss rita to the rescue um is that i had a habit of if i saw a corgi <laughs> that was in need then i would take it and at one time i think i had four 
I think I had four at one time at once. So, I mean, that's a lot of corgis. That's a lot of feet. There's 16 feet. And then in addition to that, you know, my own feet and my kids' feet and everything else. So, Anyway, long story short, um, I would do all kinds of like things for the Corgi community and the Corgi community um, on Facebook, they have kind of a, an affectionate term. It's called Corgi Nation. Um, and I have been a card carrying uh, member of Corgi Nation for, oh, I don't know, at least 10 years. And um, <clears throat> so... I, uh, they have all kinds of, you know, they have like, uh, fundraisers and auctions when somebody has a, has a dog, a corgi that is in need, they do all kinds of auctions. So I started when I was working with my cricket, I started thinking, how can I make things that are corgi focused because they are my passion. So, um, along the way I came up with these decals. Now this is not my design. It's a design that I purchased from Etsy. Um, and uh, you know, so I, I did it as SVG that I downloaded and then re, you know, uploaded it to my, to my, um, design space. And then I would cut them on my Explore Air and then also now my Maker. Um, and over time, what I found out is that and by the way, these things are crazy to weed. Look at all of that, right? So, but over time, I found out um, that people really like this holographic, at least right now. They really like this holographic. So, of course, I stocked up on holographic. And um, I started to sell them in an Etsy shop as well. So, um, you can still find them under my name, Miss Rita to the Rescue. You can find them in the Etsy shop. But, um, so I really liked this holographic. And I have three kinds, uh, opal, pink, and blue. There's three different distinct kinds and then also, you know, different colors as well. So anyway, so I went along with this and, you know, sending out corgis across the nation um, to people and, and they really loved it. And um, I proudly wear these on my on my car as well. And pretty much it's it's a kind of uh, design that you can't miss when you see it you know you know it's a corgi and I just love the mandala so anyway um along comes the cricket joy and um of course you know this is the way my brain works is that how can I use the cricket joy to enhance and improve my life I don't want to you know create something new that um because I my life is full it's super full. <laughs> I do a lot. Um, you know, I am constantly going from the moment my feet touch the ground in the morning. It's six, sometimes earlier than six until the moment that I fall asleep at like 10. So, um, so I'm just going, 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 um, all day long and I don't need something else. I don't need to learn something new. Um, you know, I, I, I've spent a lifetime learning all kinds of things, including knitting and sewing and, and, um, all kinds of crafts and the cricket, um, crafts as well, soap making and herbal remedies and everything else under the sun. So I don't need a new hobby. Um, but what I do need is something that will help me achieve some of the things that I've come to love and that includes the corgis so um and and these stickers and corgi nation and all of that stuff so so i was cutting them out on my on my um maker and that what was working just fine um and you could buy the rolls of of uh holographic that was great that worked out that's worked been working out good but um so when i when i got introduced to this a joy, I, I started thinking, you know, my decals are about the size of this mat. I'm like, oh, wow, that's awesome. So, um, and then I could just cut them one at a time because, you know, orders will come in. I mean, it, or I commit to something and um, I don't want to keep a gazillion of them on hand. So, um, because first of all, a gazillion would be a pain to weed. So um, I want to be able to do them like kind of one at a time. So I'm thinking, okay, can I do that on the joy? And well, guess what? Yes, yes I can. And I wanted to show you um, 
what that looks like. Now, um, and I've I mentioned this to you before that I am using my iPhone as an illustration for you, but you do not need to use an iPhone to make the joy work. Um, you can use, uh, um, let's see, a des desktop, a laptop, um, iPad, Android device, you, you name it. If it has Bluetooth, you can use it, okay? So I'm just showing you this because this is what I'm accustomed to. So um, I set up this sticker and it's gonna go in this way, you know, sideways because it's longer than it is wide, just like a corgi. And um, so uh, longer than it is high, I guess, is with a corgi. So, and I put it on with a mat. Okay, this is that, that thing we were kind of talking about last night about um, can you use a mat with your existing vinyl, okay? So as long as you have it set for with a mat, um, which you, it does require you to press a button and choose with a mat, okay? You will get a list of, and I want to get in real close so you can see it, okay? You'll get a list of all the compatible materials that are out there um, in Design Space. So you've got artboard, cardstock, all these kinds of iron-on, faux leather, that thin faux leather, paper, all these kinds of paper, including smart label paper, um, includes the deluxe paper, paper foil, all those kinds of paper, plastic, foil, acetate. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, acetate. That's like, that's cool, it does that. Um, and then vinyl, look at all these vinyls, all of these vinyls, okay? So you've got um, the holographic, holographic sparkle, dry erase, chalkboard, it, um, adhesive foil, the uh, frosted premium vinyl, uh, the 3D texture, the one with the bubbles, uh, <laughs> mosaic, pearl, textured metallic, true brushed, um, all that stuff. These are all products that we've all grown to um, enjoy and like, and uh, so they're available. You can use that with the with the joy, okay? And then I also point out, also does party foil and window cling. I don't know if, I'm a, I'm a fan of window cling, I like it, but um, they, they don't have all that many colors available anymore. Anyway, so this is holographic, right? So I'm gonna choose holographic and see what my, happens to my thing, premium vinyl holographic. And I'm going to move my, um, my my iPad over so you can see what happens. So I have chosen that and the machine has started blinking. See that? There are no buttons on this. So it's like, even if it's blinking, you can't turn it off, right? The button is just blinking to remind you that it's ready to accept the uh, vinyl, which I put on this mat. And then I just put it in and you'll notice that the machine kind of takes it in and sort of surveys it. Does it have um, enough material to cut? Is it on the correct, you know, mat or does it have enough length? That's for all those really long lengths, but it has to kind of survey it. And so it takes it in and then it brings it back to the beginning. And then it's waiting for me. It's blinking saying, go ahead, hit go. So then I hit go. And it starts preparing and then it will start cutting. And there it goes. It's cutting my um, my corgi sticker. And this one here was cut on on the the Cricut Joy, just so you can see it. I mean it's the cut's perfect. I'm gonna while we're waiting for it to cut, I'm gonna let's see if I can get in in the uh, camera because I moved it so these ones here but then you know this one here I started to weed it earlier today so um, this is it's, it's a pretty actually it can't be on this on this uh, mat <laughs> this placemat because weeding doesn't work on weeding does not work on a placemat so um, and then I'm using my standard uh, weeding tool. Same thing. 
that's all the same. So if you're used to weeding and weeding on, uh, you know, weeding something that was cut on the Maker or the Explore, um, I'm trying. I'm having a hard time keeping in camera because I need to have it be close to me. But I uh, just give you, you know, just so you know. Anyway, um, so. So it, it, this, the process is still the same. You're going to put it through the machine. It's going to cut. Then you're going to take it out. And you're just going to weed around the outside of it. And then for the smaller pieces, you're going to weed it just like you weeded um, before. There's nothing different about it. So the only thing that's really different is the machine that you're cutting it on and you know maybe a few buttons that you push on your phone um or that you don't have to push on, on the on the machine versus uh versus on the phone so you know it does gone it gone are the the you know the the dial on the top or you know having to press the button to load the mat and unload the mat that sort of thing that's all gone even pause you know that third button on the end that we have on the other machines that's on the um on the app see that pause and it also tells me um what it's doing here's another really cool trick uh i can let's say my phone rings and i'm in the middle of cutting um and i want to pick it up then i don't have to worry about like getting out of here i can still go and do whatever I want, you know, look at all these different things, right? Look at my email or go on Facebook or whatever the case may be. And, um, and all the while the machine is cutting my cut. I don't know about you, but <laughs> to me, that's like the ultimate because while it's cutting, I mean, what do you guys do when you, when it, it, things are cutting? I just get kind of bored, you know? I mean, at first it's like fascinating to watch, but then after a while I'm like, okay, yeah, cut it. <laughs> I don't know. And I want to be doing something else because again, I'm, I'm a busy person. I do a lot of stuff and, you know, I guess I just have a lot of energy or whatever, but I don't want to be sitting there waiting for the machine to be done right i mean who hasn't done that i just don't like to do that so what's cool is i can do that i can set it off let it go and um i could be on facebook and you know just or instagram or, or whatever the case may be and i can look at all my corgi photos all my friends with the corgis oh you know and be liking that and and, um, ooh, I like this, make a comment, whatever, here's another corgi, ha. Ah. Um, I can do all of that, and still it's cutting, right? Ooh, look at this, Juicy Salmon Burgers. Um, doodle videos, that seems interesting, you know? I mean, I could do, do that, or go on Facebook, check out my Facebook groups, um, all this stuff, right? Oh, cute. I can like, I can comment, I could do that. It's still cutting. Um, it's still going. And so, yay. Uh, that's great. Now, what's going to happen is when it's done, and it's kind of getting near done, what's really cool about this is, I want to show it to you when it happens, because it's almost done here, I think. We almost done? Yeah, it's getting near. Sorry to take too, too long. I don't want to take a lot of your time. But but when it's done, we're going to see a notification on here that says, your cut is complete. Uh, I don't know. To me, that's like, ooh, innovation. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think that's new. I think that that happens also if you were to use the app with your other machine. So that's a little, you know, caveat. I don't think this is something new with the Joy. But it's still, it's new to me. And I thought, oh, this is fun. So I can go ahead, set the machine on to go. It can be cutting the most intricate, and that's a pretty intricate um, cut, you know? So it can be cutting the most intricate cut. And I can be doing something else, either playing on my phone or um, cooking lunch. I just made lunch for my son as this was on. And there it is. Your cut is complete. 
and it says here, you know, there it is. My cut is complete and all I have to do is unload it. And the machine unloads it and it is done. How cool is that? And I don't know what you guys do. I don't weed on the mat. I suppose I could, but I don't. So I just take it off and I'm not gonna do the whole weeding because that would just bore you to tears. But perfect cut and look at all the look at how detailed this is amazing amazing right so um here's an example a very real example of how you can use the joy to fit in your life um instead of the other way around um i am a woman who, who does just about everything i'm always busy and so I don't need to learn something new. I really don't. I just need something that will help me do what I do better. And I can tell you right now that this is, has made my life better because it's going to do these things. Now, is it for you? Maybe not. Um, but if you're, you know, anything like me or you have a similar situation and you just want to craft on the go or you want to be able to be in your life and also doing crafts otherwise what I would have to do is go into my craft room and then I'd be gone for hours um, and that's the truth I would be gone for hours while I did this and did that and cut this and cut that and you know and then I'd be oh I want to do Valentine I want to do this I want to do that or I, I think I'm always try, you know and it would be gone lost but you know here I have this order with Etsy and I need to cut this out. I need to get this out into the mail tomorrow when the mail starts. And so I can do that and still my son's home from school. So I can make him lunch and I can let the dog out and I can make sure the cat's being fed and I can, you know, do all that stuff that's life. So anyway, that's my little uh, speech about A, about how, you know, I don't think Cricut is trying to make you learn something new. Um, I think they're just trying to make your life easier and better and more creative. And you can use, obviously use your materials. Can you use the smart materials too? Yeah, you can. Can you use your own materials too? Yep, you can do that too. So um, there's no take a, taking away from this process, except maybe, you know, the width. But I, I, I kind of want to challenge some people. I think a lot of people mostly cut in this small space, you know, when, when you're talking about um, layers and things like that. They're mostly cutting in that space. Very few people use that whole 12 by 12 space. And that's what I like about the Cricut Joy. So thanks so much for listening to me. This is Rita. And this is my channel, Miss Rita to the Rescue. Thanks for coming. We're going to be back um, tomorrow with some, uh, let's see, more Cricut Joy. But I think what we'll work on tomorrow is labels. Um, and if you have any questions or concerns or you want me to to do anything in particular, please let me know. Give me a comment and, and let me know what you want to see. I'm happy to show you. I, I understand it's not in the stores and you kind of want to get your hands on it, but um, that's kind of why they give give a few of them out to people so that so that we can you know communicate with you guys what it is that um that this product is about so thanks so much for listening today we'll see you again really soon